All right, guys, welcome back. And before we get started with this video, I need to tell you guys a little story. It has nothing to do with Python, but I just need to vent. So last weekend I went to LA and when I was flying back, I sat next to this really huge guy and I really didn't even mind to be honest. But the one thing that bothered me was he didn't even care that he was taking up like half my seat. Like he could have easily moved a little bit and you know, not invade my space so much. But he was just like, oh, I don't even care. Just like hanging over. So I was like squished up against, you know, my little rail. So I was like, all right, what am I going to do to get this guy, you know, back in the seat? So I tried to twist the little air thing <laughs> on top and blowing it on him. Thought that would send him a message because, you know, I didn't want to just ask him. And uh, then <laughs> he didn't move. And then I was like, all right, what if I just started coughing? Because then he's going to think I'm sick. And then he's going to be like, oh, want to get away from me, you know, maybe clutter up. So I started coughing and he didn't move. But you know what happened? He started coughing for some reason. I was like, great. Now I got this huge guy that's coughing all over me. So, you know, that's what I did for four hours. All right. A minute 15 in, didn't learn one thing <laughs> about Python. So that was my story. Hope you liked it. All right. So in this video, I want to talk to you about Python admin. So Django already comes with this thing called an admin, which pretty much has a bunch of cool privileges. And before I start showing you guys all the cool things the admin can do, we actually need to create the admin. So pop open terminal. And in order to do that, just go ahead and type Python manage.py create super user. Create super user. Got it. All right. So it's going to ask you a few questions. Username. I always just type in admin. Now it's going to ask for an email. Just put anything in there like uh, admin at example.com. Of course, whenever you're making this in a production environment, you would want to take the time and actually fill out something that's real. Now password, I'm just going to write pass1234, pass1234 again. In a production environment, this is going to be something that should be you know a lot more safer and secure other than password or something. But now what you can do is boot up your site and go to the admin section. So this is already pre-populated and that's because I just use the same one on all my development Django projects. But go ahead and type in admin, pass one, two, three, four, or whatever your username and password is and hit a log in. So we can see already, all right. So this is pretty much a administration of the backend, pretty much access to the database. However, what I was kind of hoping for in this is, you know, a way to edit that albums table and the users table. Wouldn't that be cool if we could do that? Well, actually, we can. So if you go to music in admin right there, I'm going to show you guys how to have it so you can pop up albums or songs in there or whatever tables you want to be able to manage from your admin area. So let me just go ahead and delete this. All right, so the first thing we need to do is just import albums. So remember where that was from models, import the class album. Now, another thing we have to do one more line of code is we just need to tell Django that admin, or excuse me, the album class should have an admin interface. In other words, make the um, albums table appear right there. I get kind of confused saying album, admin, admin, album, whatever. So admin site register album. So we're going to register this album class as an admin site. Now go ahead and refresh this and check it out. So under our musics app, we can now see albums. Now, whenever we click this, we can see our two albums that were in there. High school myth red by Taylor Swift. And if we were like, all right, you know what? This was supposed to be middle school. All we have to do is click it. And then we can see the details view of that album. So I can change it to middle school or let's just change it to like skate park, something super different. So skate park, save and continue editing. And that's going to keep you on this page. Or you can, of course, just save it, delete it. And the cool thing is you have this cool little um, what's called breadcrumbs at the top. So you can navigate around easily. So again, this is the admin section and there's a lot of stuff you can do. But for now, I just want to give you guys 
a real quick basic overview. You know, get your, I don't know, what's it called? Your tongue's a little wet, wet your whistle. Does that mean something weird, perverted? If so, never mind. Just want to give you guys a real quick introduction, get you guys excited about it. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.